What's good, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be playtesting the Galadriel Elf Precon. Listen, in the reviews on this channel for this commander deck, I initially said that this was probably the worst for new players. I think after my experience playing the Lord of the Rings set at pre-release, and me having a better understanding for how the ring mechanic works inside this game. I think that I'm actually going to end up changing my opinion on that because I think that because I didn't know how this worked, this deck actually is a little bit stronger than what I had initially believed. So you'll see what I mean as we play test the deck and learn how to play this commander deck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our opening hand, we have Thornwood Falls, Mirror of Galadriel, Trap the Trespassers, Sail into the West, Hornet Queen, Island, and Island. So we do have three lands, which is pretty nice. So I think we're actually gonna, we're gonna play this hand. So we're gonna go ahead and draw for turn. And we'll draw into another Island. We'll play the tap Thornwood Falls and we'll pass, we'll untap. We'll draw into a forest. Okay, we'll play an Island and let's just get the Mirror of Galadriel onto the battlefield. Galadriel says that we can pay a mana, scry one, and then draw a card. This costs one less to play for each legendary creature we control, we'll untap and draw into asceticism which is going to give all our creatures hex proof and we can pay two mana to regenerate a creature probably one of the best cards in the entire deck honestly i mean honestly just buying this deck or owning this card inside your collection i would imagine if i was a player that's brand new to magic and i owned asceticism for the first deck i ever owned this card is incredibly powerful guys i really like this card um we'll go ahead and Forget what I was talking about. We'll play a forest. We do have three mana here. I think we could pass a turn and cast Trap the Trespasser at instant speed. Um, so we'll just say we'll pass a turn in our opponent's turn. We'll play a Trap the Trespassers, which is just going to allow us to put stun counters on our opponent's creatures. So we'll just put stun counters so our opponent's creatures that tap for mana won't untap essentially. So we'll put that into our graveyard. We'll untap and we'll draw into a raise the palisade, which is probably, this is a really good board wipe. We choose a creature type, return all creatures that are on the chosen type to their owner's hands. This is a pretty decent one-sided board wipe. I do not like the fact that we're not really drawing into any elves here because Galadriel specifically needs elves. So that's a thing. So we'll pay for, we'll get Galadriel onto the battlefield. So when Galadriel, when we go to combat and Galadriel is in play, if another elf entered the battlefield, each player is going to vote. You vote for Dominion or Guidance. If Dominion gets more votes, the ring is going to tempt us. Then we put a counter on the ring bearer, which essentially means that she's going to get all these buffs, essentially. And I'll leave that over here so you can read that. And if the vote is tied or if Guidance gets more votes, we draw a card, which we definitely do not mind at all. So we're going to untap and hopefully draw into an elf which is not an elf because that's Gandalf. Let's just make the best out of this time. We're going to pay one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to cast Asceticism. So now all of our creatures that we control have Hexproof. We can pay two mana to regenerate a creature. Essentially, if a creature would die, we can pay two to not let it die. That's how regenerate works, technically. So that happens. We'll untap and we'll draw into an elf, hopefully, which is not an elf, a Lothlorien Blade. Thinking we don't have any more lands to play. Um, because we have a legendary creature on the battlefield right now, Mirror of Gladiator will cost four to activate, which is something that we could do. But I think we just play Gandalf because we have asceticism in play. So we'll play Gandalf. We're just gonna pass and we'll draw into an elf, which is not an elf, which is a land. You would think that an elf travel deck after drawing this many cards, we would draw into an elf at some point. But where this video is just gonna keep going on until we draw an elf. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough mana to cast the Hornet Queen because that costs seven, which is unfortunate. I think that we're going to choose to... So I think in this situation here, we're going to activate the Mirror of Galadriel for three mana because we have two legendary creatures in play. So we'll tap three. We're going to scry one, which is a, not an elf. So we're going to put that on the bottom. 
And then we'll draw onto an elf, which is an island, actually. And then the universe does not want me to show you guys how this commander deck works. So we're just going to pay three. And then actually in this situation, to be smart, we have three mana left open. Let's play around the asceticism. So if somebody decides to wipe the board, we can tap two to regenerate. Let's just say that happens. We'll pass a turn. Let's say somebody casts a board wipe. And then we're going to end up paying two to tap Galadriel, which is going to regenerate Galadriel. And then Gandalf is going to go away. So Gandalf has been deaded by the board wipe. We'll untap and then we'll draw into an elf, which is a command tower. Wow. So that's going to happen. We'll just put the command tower into play. Oh, man. Let's activate the mirror of Galadriel. We'll tap four. Well, that's not an elf. Oh my God, are there elves in this deck? We're gonna, no, there isn't. This is a forest. And then let's just hold up the mana for a Galadriel again with the asceticism, we'll pass. We'll untap and draw into an elf, which is a forest. Oh man, dude. I think um, we'll play the forest. We'll tap for scry one wood elves. Thank you. Wow, it only took turn 12 to get an elf, which we're very grateful for. We'll pay three, we'll play the wood elves. Okay, yeah, so I'll grab this forest. So I'll go into the battlefield untapped, which is why wood elves is, is pretty good, honestly. And then we go to combat, and then Galadriel will trigger for the first time this entire experience. Which means that everybody's gonna finally vote for the first time. And then, let's say everybody chooses Dominion, so that we don't get to draw another card. And we're gonna choose to make Galadriel the ring bearer, uh, which means I get to do this. And then I get to put this over here, because she now has the ring, quote unquote, and she's gonna get just one entire plus one plus one counter. After waiting all of that time for one elf, she's gonna get one counter. And then we're gonna hold up the two mana for to regenerate Galadriel in case somebody decides to, you know, just destroy our extremely powerful board state. We'll untap and draw into a Lightning Greaves, which is more uh, hexproof, which is kind of like the asceticism, which is almost exactly like the asceticism over here. Not another elf. So let's pay four mana to scry one, which is an exotic orchard and not another elf. And then we'll draw a card, which is Radagast, the Wizard of Wilds, which is not an elf, which is not going to trigger Galadriel. And I think, guys, I think we're done here. I think I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the video when I said that Beginners probably shouldn't buy this commander deck because this commander deck is probably not that good. And I think that this entire experience here is the exact example of why I said inside the decklist review that you probably should just buy another precon because, I mean, look how many cards I drew here, guys. That's a lot of cards. And I don't know how, not an elf, not an elf, not an elf, not an elf. Yeah, that's a, this is a serious problem when, <laughs> finally, finally, you found out when I go through this many cards off the top of my library and I see one elf and your commander's ability is actually completely reliant on you having more elves enter the battlefield. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Eat healthy, work out every single day. Most importantly, you guys got to remember to believe in yourself, right? Peace out, people.